Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez and I have a brand new video for you guys here today. It's going to be a very, very quick video. I'm sure you guys probably know this and if you don't, I'm going to show you something. All right, so I was talking with my buddy Michael from The Talking Camera. Link is in the comments. Give him a subscribe. Show some love. We were having a conversation about headshots and we were actually talking about my last video and we were discussing the skin tone on the final images we were going over it together and he noticed that some of my photos were just a tad bit warm, a little bit yellowish on the tones and the skin. And we started going back and forth. We said, you know, let's figure this out. Let's see what's going on and let's try to fix it. So working together, we tested out a few things. It turns out that it was all a simple fix. I have something called True Tone turned on on my iMac. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about what True Tone is, how it works, and how to turn it off for my Mac users. All right, guys, so as you see on the screen, I have my general settings up and I have the display settings. True Tone is turned off. To give you a preview as to what I'm talking about, we have this headshot on your screen. On the left side, we have the warm tones. On the right side, we have the cool tones. Whenever I edit, the intention is to keep it looking this way. The color grade looks like this. Now. Results may vary on your screen, depending if you're looking at this on a cell phone, another computer, a Windows, or an uncalibrated monitor. I essentially want my photos to look like this. However, when Michael was taking a look at them, eh, they sort of look like this on the left. Why is that? True Tone was turned on. What is True Tone? True Tone automatically adapts the display to make colors appear consistent in different ambient lighting conditions. What does that mean? So it's daylight, 11 a.m., right? and you have your blinds open, your computer senses that. And what it tries to do is tries to change the profile of your monitor's colors to match the ambient light, to match your surrounding. Say for example, it's 6 p.m., right? It's a little darker in your room. You don't have any lights turned on. Your screen will adapt to that and try to compensate for that. Now let's say you switch on the lights. For example, if you have warm bulbs, the screen is going to try to compensate for that. True Tone will just try to adapt to your surroundings. Whenever I was editing at night or if I was editing during the day, it was compensating for that. And in turn, my images were looking either warmer or a little bit cooler. How to fix that? Simple. Just make sure that True Tone is turned off on your computer and it'll solve your issues. Again, this only goes to people who are using Apple products. It's just a simple solution for those of you who don't already know this. I'm glad I could help today with this really quick video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like on this video if it was helpful or any other videos that are helpful to you. Leave me a comment below. Tell me how I'm doing. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you for watching.